Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up another very, very interesting question from radical equations, which we'll be solving for the real values of x. So let's get started by splitting 11 as 2 plus 9. And 83, we'll write 2 plus 81. So we can write our equation square root of we'll write x plus 2 plus 9. This is 11 plus x or x plus 11 minus 6 times square root x plus 2. Then we'll write plus sign is square root of. Again, we'll split 83 plus x as x plus 2 plus 81, which is 83 plus x or x plus 83 minus 18 times square root x plus 2 equal to 12. Now we can write our radicands as x plus 2 we will write a square root x plus 2 and then we will put power 2. So square root square will be over we will get x plus 2. 9 is 3 square minus 6 times square root x plus 2. We can write 2 times square root x plus 2 times 3. Now we can think about square root x plus 2 is a. Then this term we will write a square. 3 is b. So this term would be b square. So a square plus b square minus 2 times a b. This is one algebraic identity which we will write a minus b whole square. Similarly, we will write our second term x plus 2 we will write a square root x plus 2 whole square. A square root square will be over we will get x plus 2. 81 is 9 square. We will write minus 18 times square root x plus 2. So 2 times square root x plus 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is 18. RHS is equal to 12. So we can apply this algebraic formula and we can write a square root x plus 2 a minus b whole square b is 3. So a square root x plus 2 minus 3 whole square plus a square root of a square root x plus 2 minus 9 whole square equal to 12. Now we know that a square root of k square this is equal to absolute value function of k or mod function of k. So we will apply this result to our equation we can write mod of square root of x plus 2 minus 3. Then we will write plus mod of square root x plus 2 minus 9 equal to 12. Now I will consider square root x plus 2 equal to a. a. So our equation will become mod of a minus 3 plus mod of a minus 9 equal to 12. Now we have to solve this absolute value equation. I will draw one number line. There I will show our critical points 3 and 9. So we can split our interval or domain in three segments. First one, when a is less than 3. Second interval we will consider when a is lying in the interval 3 and 9. And third interval we will consider where a is greater than or equal to 9. So let us consider our first case a less than 3. 
I will write our equation once a minus 3 mod function plus mod of a minus 9 equal to 12. First case is when a is less than 3. So when a is less than 3, we will write mod of a minus 3. This will be minus a minus 3 and mod of a minus 9. This will be equal to minus of a minus 9. So we can write our equation minus of a minus 3. This equation plus or better is to write minus of a minus 9 equal to 12. Now we will expand, we will write minus a plus 3 minus a plus 9 equal to 12. Or we can write 12 minus 2a equal to 12. So we can cancel 12 with 12. We will get 2a equal to 0 or we can write a equal to 0. And a was a square root x plus 2. So I can write a square root x plus 2 equal to 0. Let's write here a square root x plus 2 equal to 0. Now we will square both sides. A square root and a square will be cancelled out from left hand side. We will get x plus 2 equal to 0 square is 0. Now subtract 2 from both the sides plus 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled out. We will get our first real solution negative 2. Now we will consider case 2 where a is lying in the interval 3 and 9. Now I will write our absolute value equation mod of a minus 3 plus mod of a minus 9 equal to 12. Now in this interval when a is lying in between 3 and 9 then we can write mod of a minus 3. This would be positive. And mod of a minus 9. This would be negative. So we will write a minus 9. There we will write minus 3. Let us correct it. So this is a minus 3 with plus outside. Now we will write our equation a minus 3. Then we will write minus sign a minus 9 equal to 12. Or I can write a minus 3 minus a plus 9 equal to 12. Now plus a and minus a will be over. 9 minus 3 is 6. Right hand side is 12. 6 cannot be equal to 12 for real numbers. So we will write here no solutions. Now we have to consider our case 3 where a is greater than or equal to 9. So let me write here case 3 where a is greater than or equal to 9. Now I will write our equation mod of a minus 3 plus mod of a minus 9 equal to 12. In this interval when a is greater than or equal to 9 I will write mod of a minus 3. This would be always positive and for mod a minus 9, if a is greater than 9, we will write this would be positive again. So our equation will become a minus 3 plus a minus 9 equal to 12. Now we can write 2a minus 12 equal to 12. At 12 both sides we will get 2a equal to 24. Now we will divide our equation by 2. 
a will be equal to 12. Now a was a square root x plus 2 equal to 12. Now we will consider squaring both sides. So we will write power 2, power 2, a square root and a square will be over. We will write x plus 2 equal to 144. Now we have to subtract 2 from both the sides to get our second real solution. And we will get 142. So this is also our solution for the equation. So in total, there are two real solutions, x equal to negative 2 and x equal to 142. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.